YouTube commenter Jaden3828 says, I dare you to spend an entire episode exploring the depths. Well, Jaden, we won't spend the entire episode down there because we got to get there. However, we will spend much of it down there and we won't just explore. We might even find a coliseum. Yeah, we might even do some cool stuff besides just exploring. So uh, hold on to your hats, everybody. We're going down into the depths below the Great Plateau. Because in the last episode, we checked out the old man's house and got ourselves some nifty new fits. That's right, and we did that because somebody left us a comment in the Discord. Link in the description below. Join our Discord and give us comments on what we should do in the series. We will read those comments and do some, but not all of them, unless we only get one comment per video. Here we go! Do you know what Amelia Pond has taken to calling those depths holes? What? Ganon's wipeable orifice. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was family friendly. Yeah, I thought so too. Didn't take long for her to abandon all of her family friendly values. <laughs> I think, I mean, I would call them pores, maybe. Yeah. Well, here we are in the depths. <laughs> Changing the subject. Changing it right back. Um. In the depths, there's. Oh, I want to make a can you see him Coliseum joke. So we're gonna have to make it there in one of the, in this episode at some point to one of them. So I well, can say, I just realized I I did this there's wrong. There's a guy in there. Where can't you Coliseum? So I wanted to go and drop the eye down into the into into here. Oh, the eye. And yeah, we could do the eye thing in this episode. That would be fun. So maybe we should talk to this guy. And see if he wants his eye. Like, yo, my eyes are missing, man. Dude, I ain't got no depth the perception. The stone gate to the Great Plateau. I don't even have oh. regular perception. How do we get up to the top now? Can we? Can we just go f from here? On top of the dude's head? Well, you could. <laughs> I guess you could fast travel. You can't. Oh, because we don't have a spot on the plateau. Yeah. Oh. D-pad. This will take us there. I love that from the... Hey, wait a minute. That wait didn't take a, a minute. Wait a minute. That's not... You're not the guy who delivers the rat droppings. Remember... <laughs> <laughs> Remember after we bought the game and we played for a couple hours and then and then we played we started our own adventures and our own yes. private profiles and then we got together a week later and you're like dude I got to show you something and yeah, you yeah, showed yeah. me Koga Koga down yes. here Yes I didn't want that to get spoiled for and you And I was like whoa and we have that on footage me like seeing it <gasps> That's for right. the first time we could put that in Basement Let's Play or something. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. But we should put that there. Then I was wandering around, and I went down to that guy with four missing eyes, and you're like, I've never seen this. <laughs> yeah. That was so long ago. Dude. It's like in Tears of the Kingdom-wise, you know, Tears of the Kingdom knowledge-wise. Oh, there's a chest <gasps> up here. Dude, there's going to be Ow, my foot. magical article of clothing in here. A oh, large oh. Zonite. Is our Ooh. first Zonite a large one? So what's the best way to get back to the surface from down here? Well, you could fast travel to the tower. That's so far away. So far away. Oh, man. Far away. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? I used them. No, you didn't. We have a couple. We have 38. It's funny. I always expect those to be just most used. So it's weird to sort by most used and have them not. But the fire flower is the thing that's most used early in the game for me. Well, I want to do sense. this eyeball quest thing, but we're going to have to go to the top of the plateau. And well, we were told to spend the whole episode exploring the depths. Okay, well, let's explore the depths then. Let's let's make our way to a bright bloom seed, or a uh, light root. There's one off this direction. Let's go. Dude, do you remember dropping into the depths for the first time? And it was oh, just like, dude, <gasps> yes. Wow. Wow. So scary. <laughs> I'm glad we got some Gibdo bones. 
All right, now make sure that you don't save the crummy weapons. Because you gotta... The way that it works is you're supposed to... Don't forget that you gotta do it right. You trying to be me? Uh, I watched last episode and Ted gave me all sorts of advice. Great although, advice. Although unsolicited, badly needed. Sorely even. Um, how do you farm for Gibdo Bones after you're sort of done with the whole... I usually don't. Gerudo thing. Yeah, I have By the time that I was done using them all, uh, you didn't really I had need more. a whole bunch of different enemy heads that I wasn't using for weapons anymore at that point. Ah. Like, ah. blue Bokoblin horns are pretty good. I mean, they're not the, as good. I want to try Gibdo using bones, up one of my ancient tips. That's too yeah, small. Yeah, I have not used that. Yes, I haven't used it either yet. Oh, it? I've got more or, than one. I haven't used the one that I have, but oh. yeah. Dude, I love when the guys with the backpacks drop a bunch of zonite. It's like score. Yeah. So many zonite. I love that the mu the music reminds me of um the cat town in Twilight Princess. The battle music is ever so slightly like old American Western movie. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. And I love that. I don't know what that is, if that's a mode thing or, uh, or what. It is kind of tempo driven, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Copeland and the, like, the Americana music, you know? Like, um... You know that song, right? Yeah, yeah. So... That yeah, it reminds composer. me of like a <laughs> Yeah, but it's, it's sort of got that thing going on, and then it uses the fifths. Like the running fifths? Uh, nope, they're like, it's like a fifth interval that it's using. Oh gosh, I'm glad I didn't hit those. That, that's sort of... Da, 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 da. Uh, the, the notes together. Bum, 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 bum. I can't sing two notes at the same yeah, time. Yeah, so they are running. They're running fifths. Oh, is that what that means? Well, like if you were playing it on guitar, you'd hold the yeah. It's sort of like the pattern, yeah, it's like and a then power move chord. that pattern back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I need to use some music theory here. in the basement. One of my least favorite things in music is uh, running octaves in vocals. It's like really, what, what is the point of having a man and a woman sing together if they're just gonna sing the same note an octave apart? Because an octave sounds cool. Oh, not, not. Have you ever heard? No. Have you ever heard? Um, I'm sure there John are Mayer playing the guitar, and he's like, burr, 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 and it's like octaves. <laughs> oh, it's so so sweet, so <laughs> so buttery. And John Mayer's the worst. <laughs> you might want <laughs> If you're a John Mayer fan, we're not making fun of you. We're just making fun of your hero. <laughs> you should pick your heroes better. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that light root? We just killed it. Oh. That's I mean, not a light root. I don't see no light root. Well, if we just go in a direction, we'll find one. You could, um, you could stick a pin on the depths I map where there's a, a, that's actually a really good John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> it, he uses an entire lung of breath per note. <sighs> <laughs> he does. He does. That's a secret. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that and Pert Plus. You know way, you know gives his hair the same shine and bounce that Mitch Hedberg used to have. Oh, oh Mitch. Back when he was alive. <laughs> you know, rice is really good when you want to eat a thousand or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, we can't make it up there. Oh, this is the worst. You can't see where you can and cannot go. If only there were some way we could shoot, like, light. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Huh. What do you know? Dude, you can ascend. Oh, yeah. Just gotta get in the right spot. That. You're right. You're right. I could ascend. Oh. We make a great team. Nope. I cannot ascend. Oh. We make a terrible team. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. Oh. 
It was oh, all oh, hinging. Oh. <laughs> Boink. On that one piece of advice being correct. <laughs> now we're a bad team because of it. Darn it! We're a bad, There's a light bad route. Team. <laughs> because you can't <laughs> you, Yours turns into like Adam Sandler pretty quickly. <laughs> or oh, like, sure, sure. John, John Mayer's got popsicles in his basement. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gonna shoot the light route. Oh, baby. What if John Mayer oh. and Dave Matthews <laughs> now I can see too. had a baby? It'd sound a little something. Like this. Like this. Oh, he was already dead. I wasted that. That's okay. Hey, you got a little horn. horn. Hey, you got a throwing spear. Dude, you could merge the horn to the spear. Whoa, and there's have... a dude there. Wow, that was cool. He just leaped up from like beneath the floor. I think the word you're looking for is leapt. <laughs> you can say leaped. You can't. Yes, well, you can. Well, you could be wrong. <laughs> I just said it! You could say looper! <laughs> he lopered right up there! <laughs> he lopered right up! <laughs> the stupidest... Dude, the stupidest <laughs> lyrics in the John Mayer voice are just so fitting. Ooh, a muddle bud! Should I shoot it at these guys? I think somebody told us to use a muddle bud. Although I think it was for Tears of the Kingdom funny moments. Either muddle, way. Muddle, buddle. Muddle, buddle, muddle, muddle, muddle. That's a poof shroom. Oh no, I can't tell what's Link and what's not. Always get muddled. But it's confused. <laughs> There's nobody around to fight except for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he turtled right up there. <laughs> <laughs> he flipped and he floodled. <laughs> Howdy! <laughs> <laughs> who else is, uh, who else is make funnable? Oh, uh, Coldplay, Everyone? Chris Martin. Yeah, sure. Coldplay, Bruno Mars. <laughs> uh, Bruno Mars is a little harder just because he's so good. Yeah, but does he? <laughs> but, well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't glean anything from that. The truth come out. <laughs> About his bad rumor. <laughs> uh, Dude, he was already dead. I he, he, I wanted him more dead, okay? You did it again. I forgave you the first time. Oh, forgive me again. Nope. Dude, I gotta get myself some zone. Dude, I, as far as the east is okay. from the east I'll northeast. tell you right now, this is my favorite thing to do in the game, is just run from camp to camp and get zone. It is a lot of fun. They made this gameplay loop really good, and yeah, yeah. it's rewarding because yeah. you get your batteries filled up, and then after that, you have like the ability to craft things without having to have pieces. Do you find that you have a hard time uh, breaking them all open though, because of uh, weapon no durability issues? Nope, not even a little bit, because you end up getting weapons like this, and there's always a rock around. Yeah, I like getting the big sturdy sticks from, uh, like the big wide ones from. You like, get them when you fight the trees, or also like moblins. These guys, there's usually a rock hammer. And then fusing those. And did you ever fuse instead of a boulder like a, a lump of iron? It's like a boulder, but it's dark and shiny. Oh no, I bet it has better. Dude, the durability, durability on that thing is it. There's a lot about uh, Tears of the Kingdom that actually ended up really kind of reminding me of Minecraft in some ways. And yeah. maybe it's because I played it for hundreds and hundreds of hours, but. The fact that you could have a stone tool or an iron version of a tool and it lasted longer, I was like, okay. And it would bust those things in one swing. Although, I think with a two-handed handle and a boulder, it does anyway. Okay. <clears throat> but we yeah, I loved collecting We're heading which zonite. direction? We, we came from down below. We still want to go up higher. Um, is there a flag for your last position? Oh, or is never that... mind. Light root. Right over there. Oh, yeah. Now we ought to do is... Uh -oh. oh! Evil oh. trees! Huh. I'm glad they don't do that on the surface. The line is gross. You know, they're not attacking you. They have a cold and they're sneezing. I... Achoo! Let <laughs> <laughs> go! Oh, I can't see a thing. Dude, where was that... Where was that tree hiding that zone height? Inside the trunk. Oh, wait. I know where we are. I've been here before. 
This. Is there a whiz robe in there? Is a goodie. Can you imagine a whiz robe with a. Uh, uh oh. Did you see how I aimed that? Yeah. Behind him. That was good. There's a chest here. <gasps> Open it with the tree on top. Oh, the tree <laughs> even opened! Yeah, Dude, large charge. Dude, that is a goodie. Large and in charge. How Charles already, in charge. How do we already have a hundred? I've been collecting zonite. No. Yes! You get large... Um, of, of crystallized charges? Yeah. Oh, we just well, went from get, 100 to 120. You get some from that first battle with Koga. Did we do I mean, that? After, afterward. Yeah, we did that. We have auto build. Oh, you're right. It was like the first or second episode. Dude, we did so it like right foggy. away. Because I was like, we need to get that right away. We're not going to deal with this now. Yeah, auto thing. build is nice. Oh, I want to bet that that's a bad guy. Oh, and there's another one right over there. And over there. You know what I like to do down here? Scout them out, mark them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then I got them with marks. The what? The light roots. I use my uh, my thingamajig. Your pins? Yeah. Uh, but then, oh, you mean you look through the Sheikah slate and stick a pin on it? Yeah. What I like doing is... Um, so I do this. Going back and forth between the... Then I go over here, and I edit it, and I make a little star. I know it's a light root. Uh. We're going to see what they've got for parts over here, because if we can make ourselves that flying machine yes. right now, and, and the amount of zonite it. that we have, yeah, we're going to be sitting pretty. Sitting real pretty. Do they have fans? And a controller stick. They do have fans. Come on, controller. No. No controller. Do we have a controller in our... That'd be really lucky. No. We don't. <sighs> okay. It's okay. That's okay. <gasps> it's only episode uh, <laughs> 10 or 11 or 12 or whatever it is. Okay. Well, without rockets or anything else, that's going to be pretty tough to use any of this stuff, so we're just going to not. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So Go some of those are pretty skippable. For the next light route, I guess. I, uh, what I like Ooh. to do is get the light roots and then, um, look back and forth between my map of the surface and the depths. And if there's a light route where there's no shrine or vice versa, then I mark it. Then you mark it on the next And then I go look up. for the sh adjoining, adjacent, accompanying the, shrine. Because the shrine might be up in the sky too, right? I don't think they match up with the ones in the sky. Oh, they match up the with same the number there. on the surface as there are underground. Oh, there's more than 120 if you count the ones in the sky. Right. But there's 120 on the surface. Yep. Okay, do I have any more muddle buds? I don't think I do. Well, you had one before. Yeah, so unless I picked up another, which I might have. You could have. But you did. I did. <laughs> fight each other. I'm fight. gonna fight my fellow Bacoblin. Hey! Maybe he's fighting. Maybe he's fighting the Yiga. Dude, there's one spot on the map, and there's more than one spot, but there's one spot on the map particularly that I know where it's really fun to let some high-level Bokoblins fight some high-level um yeah. like the Zonite robot guys. All you have to do is just like run between the camps, and then you can hide up on a tall rock and they fight each other. And oh, nice. You just go down there and you kill the last remaining thing and then collect <laughs> all the parts. Dude, that's genius. Yeah, I loved oh, it. I don't like not having stamina. There was a time where uh, every time there was a blood moon, I would go back to that spot and let some uh, white bull goblins and or silver bull goblins and those like level three construct cap ones or whatever like duke it out <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa 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 don't want to step in the gloom you gotta put on your snow boots oh yeah it'll be more resistant also you feel free to swap out any of that other crap if you want oh that was a naughty word for the basement i kind of like the ego outfit though da -da -ba -da -ba. yeah take that you're getting I muddle butted. I didn't do many of these camps uh, before. 
um, I got fairly late into the game. So it was just a lot of fun to run around. Oh, you missed. And get the zone. I, I collected so much. The big ones don't come back, do they? Like the super big pockets. Of Zonite? Yeah. I don't think so. Because I've gone back several times and there's just still a hole. Which is interesting the game remembers that. Yeah. Even even though there's a blood moon. My Captain One Blade is damaged. You're gonna need another one. And it Captain Two. All right. Black low. Some more zonite. Dude, 117. We're Dude, on our look way. Look at how much zonite's in this outcropping, too. Oh, it's so good. Got some Rizalfo's tails. Dude, I still have not gotten enough Lizalfo's tails to, like, do the level one upgrade of whatever armor requires it. Because I just waited too long. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, there's a way to do it. I mean, you gotta find bone Lizalfos, and then they'll have the level one stuff. Right. Uh, not tails, though. Oh, you're right. But there's gotta be a way to do it. There's somewhere where the they're just the regular Lizalfos, no matter how advanced you are. Yeah, maybe, like, near the starting area. Yeah, it just makes it harder to do. Oh. Dude, oh, this feels so good. I love collecting Zonite. They did a good job, too, of knowing that, like, Link wanted to swing up when the rock was above you and there was nothing to hit in front of you. Yeah. Link swings this up. This is true. Yeah, and I I noticed and appreciated that. A muddle bud. Do you need some more light roots? Yep, we do need another light root. Okay, let's go out in the direction of the light root. <gasps> I see a big dark talus. <laughs> What arrow? Hey, don't forget to break all the good stuff. Break all the good stuff? Yeah, you promised you'd break all the good stuff when it was your turn, because I refused to use it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm too bad. I'm too busy collecting new good stuff for you. Uh, oh. Ooh. Is there a control stick here? That was a surprising little development here. It's just suddenly there. Nope. Fans. It's exactly same the same as the last one. Boo. I was saying boo, Aaron's. Well, I'm glad that they, uh, that, uh, they, they told us to spend some time down here because we really needed some of the materials and some of the stuff that's hiding here. Yeah, getting the puff shrooms and the muddle buds and extra Absolutely. bomb flowers. Now we got tons of bomb arrows. Let's see if we can maybe locate one of those uh Coliseum. control sticks and some and, and two oh, fans oh yeah because getting that is gonna be clutch that would be a big unlock for us here in this episode of our lives <laughs> <laughs> dude the first time i fought one of these guys i think we've already discussed this i was like i'm not doing them any damage what is the deal with this guy that was frightening. It's not gonna do close. anything. Oh, shoot, I've got. Well, that's the first time I took doom, uh, gloom damage. Yeah. Unfortunately, it takes 25% of your hearts per hit when you only have four. Okay. Yeah, where's your messiah now? Um. I think you got him. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can't carry any more shields. That's fine. It's a good problem to have. Blah, blah, blah. Bomb. Yeah, I already. What weak. if instead of glad, glow, it said what you picked up? Bomb, bomb. <laughs> I'm a bomb. Don't I? <laughs> Don't I? Don't I? <laughs> <laughs> like in Mario Maker. Samurai, <laughs> some of the platforms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little life followed. Sticking Mario Maker. What an interesting thing that the Switch outsold the Wii U by a bazillion units, and yet Mario Maker won somehow. Oh, hello. Hello, like like. Oh, another like like. Right over here. 
Uh oh, this is bad. Whoa! You've been gloomed. Again, okay. You get gloom doomed. Alright, blah 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 night. What? You need a bomb. Or a rock. Oh. Wait, now I'm good. Yep. You're still gonna shoot rocks at me though. Maybe. All you gotta do is strafe. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, my gross blob. My uvula. No. <laughs> <laughs> Something good? A shield? Have, have you gotten eaten by one of those? Uh, yes. They grab you up, and then when they spit you out, you're missing either your weapon or your bow or your shield. It's so cool. I know, cool. it's the, like the classic. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Actually, I'm going to switch out for one of our rusty shields that we have. Da -da 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 this is the best feature ever. Just like, you've got too much stuff. Here you go. Here's an opportunity to trade it out. Oh, you're using up your 30 damage. I'll fix it. No. It's too late, dude. They're all dead. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my face. Oh, no. The space above my head. You shot the fish, but it blew my head. <laughs> blew my head. More like John Mayonnaise. John Mayonnaise? <laughs> Ew. Come on, shoot a rocket me so I can dodge it and then we can shoot you again. Uh, if you have a band and you're listening and you're having trouble naming your songs for a concept album, how about mixing celebrities' names with common condiments? So, for example, John Mayonnaise. Or, uh, Sarah Jessica Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Mozart Mustard. You mean Wolfgang Amadeus mu Mustard? Ow! Oh! We were just talking about this! Huh? Huh? Yeah. What's missing? <laughs> it's funny that My the, body. the instinct... Your, your bow. Oh... No? Weird. Nothing. Uh, I, I got out. The instinct to just button mash like she just will from not... like likes from the original game. I think I gotta start him on fire or something because he's not. Dude, what you gotta do is go stand under a light route. Yeah. Get your gloom hearts back. Oh no. You are in the most awkward spot there, Mr. Like Like. Why even try to kill him? Oh gosh. Because once I kill him, I I can clean out the rest of this place here. That <sighs> bow zoomed we go. way in. You can't carry any more shields. You want to get rid of your badly damaged stone walrus? No, I like that one. <laughs> Pot lid? That'll be the last <laughs> one to get rid of. We're going to take that one all the way to the end of the game. <laughs> That's our challenge. It's to take a badly damaged pot lid from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. All right. More arrows. Get the zonite from here. Did you get the like stone? I did. The like like stone? What are those good for? Like armor upgrade? Uh, I don't know. Is Maybe you could sell them. I never, I never skip picking up a like stone. If possible. All right, your top priority yep. is a light, a light route. route. But second to top priority is get the zonite from here because we did all the work. I think we got it. Almost done. So maybe that's the first priority. Can you go back to the same light route? Yeah, I think if you just stand under it, the gloom goes away. It's like if you unlock one, it does it all at once. But if you just stand there, it gloops mm -hmm. like you're standing in water mm -hmm. and your health mm -hmm. comes back. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Now we can eat uncooked food. That's okay. It you is could sort eat of a cooked waste. food, but we uh, that's uh, we need to save that. 
So far, we don't have enough hearts to really necessitate eating cooked food either, so that works out okay. Yeah. All right, further north. Off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. We've got to be, if we went down at the uh, plateau, we can't be too far from the Colosseum. That must be beneath the Colosseum. Oh, I want that so bad, but like, that's a bad idea. Like, from Breath of the Wild. It's true. I'm going to get our pose. Maybe we should check that out. There's a light route up there. Ooh, that would be a fun thing to check out. Although it is time for this episode to be done. We've oh. done our exploring, just like we set out to do, a deep firefly. Ooh. Oh, we found a new deep firefly. That's a new thing. And next time when we do more of You Choose How We Play Tears of the Kingdom, we're going to look at the comments in our Discord and in our comments section here on YouTube to determine what we're doing next. So put those comments down below. Go join the Discord, and we'll see you guys over there. Check out the video that's on the screen right now because it has to do with Tears of the Kingdom. In fact, it has to do with interesting, funny things that uh, we've always wondered about. Ah! We'll see you guys over there. In, In the, the basement! basement.